and 209 units. We'll secure the area. that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. 
so is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Uh, what is this intricate device? Shut your fucking mouth! I think someone is coming. Everyone quiet. Shh. Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive! I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule. Call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive, and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. 
There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful... Robocop! I knew our founder would send <clears throat> Mr. I am Robo- I, I saw- I'll be- Office- I am- uh, uh, There is- Gosh, first- Are you- Found- Okay. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. Was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <laughs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. <sighs> I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... Well, even. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about?
out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Get cover! 
I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. The junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, see, P skimps on everything when it comes to the police fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Follow the cables. They should take you to the fuse box.
Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. So it wasn't a mistake when they didn't send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what I'm ready for you, Robo. Or who. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? All right, let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? I cannot explain, but OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. We are going to build a brand new city. Where Detroit now stands. Delta City is the only hope that we have. Where was the meeting point supposed to be? Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. <laughs> oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. 
You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? OCP is never to be trusted. That's what I'm saying. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. I'm ready for your robo. I'm afraid not. All right. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs like pain. God knows what they'll cut next. Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. How do you look supposed to me? I no, I'm she, you chair. She just like you're very OC. And how do you? To it, never I see memory. The he was in as you can. I do not these. I and did what you as I think. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. Still got a half a dozen door to doors to do. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like you didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy.
All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative, under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city. And without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? Did you meet him? Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column delegated to protecting his dog. What? How come this is the first time I'm hearing this? Officer Ramirez, a licensed dog walker. Shut up, Kaplan. Hey, Shiny got a job for you. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. <laughs> 